My name is Corey Blanche. Hi, I'm Megan Samples. And together we own Curtichiba Art Cafe. My favorite thing about Fredericksburg is the diverse music scene. I've been playing music in this area for the past 20 years and I have met some amazing singer-songwriters and growing up as a young person in this city and being injected into that scene is a big part of who I am today. So Megan and I, we were approached in uh, early 2020 uh, to buy Curitiba, uh, which we were both really surprised by. And Megan and I's connection with the original owners was, I am a musician, I've been playing in this area for about 20 years, and Megan was the original general manager. Yeah, so we got involved in the business really early on. Um, everything kind of first kicked off 2017, um, and Corey and I took over ownership in June of 2020. Um, so kind of like right in the middle of COVID, which was an interesting time, but good. You know, I think it was a good one, and uh, we've been really fortunate. We have a great group of people that work with us here. We have about anywhere between 12 and 14 staff at a time. Um, most of our staff has actually been with us since we opened in 2020. We have some people rotate out, but we have a good core group that's been with us uh, along for the ride. So. so my favorite thing about Fredericksburg is all the various ways that you can engage with giving back to the community. Um, there are just so many different groups of people, different agencies, businesses, individuals that choose to give their time um, to make Fredericksburg a better place. Uh, and Corey and I are both just really excited to be able to contribute to that and be a part of that change. Um, our biggest goal is to bring as many art mediums together as possible. Um, we, have a, we have a creative philosophy of there is a universal kind of connection of the creative process between all the different mediums. And the goal is to get everyone to get together in the same space to not just share about what they do, but also share about the, um, the kindredness of their creative process. So, you know, everything do everybody does something a little bit different. Uh, the results may be different, but the process, the language is exactly the same and we want to promote the universal aspect of the creative spectrum. Yeah, and that really applies to our staff that work with us here. Um, it applies to the products that we offer. Uh, so we have craft coffees as well as craft cocktails. Um, like Corey was saying, we have art of all different mediums here. We have uh, photography groups that meet here that we're big fans of. We do live music, we have gallery hangings, poetry groups, um, so it's really art across the spectrum and it just kind of happens that, I mean, we're both very, you know, two creative people ourselves and the people that work with us here just kind of ended up here being creative. It was kind of unplanned the way we assembled our team, but uh, we try to translate that philosophy across everything that we do and that includes community engagement and being able to give back to the community as well. So Megan and I, uh, back in late 2020, we joined Ma Fredericksburg Main Street. Uh, Main Street is a economic development and historic uh, preservation uh, nonprofit that is designed to uh, help grow businesses and, uh, and also keep up with historic locations. Um, we have a sister chapter in Manassas, Virginia, and they were the first ones to actually do a uh, sip and stroll first Friday. The, the Manassas is also responsible for the legislation that led to the outdoor permit called the DORA that we use to run that event. Uh, Megan and I were lucky enough to be on the founding committee to launch the Fredericksburg uh, First Friday program. So like Corey was saying, we uh, were really excited that we could be a part of helping contribute to the First Friday program kind of as we know it today in Fredericksburg. So First Fridays have been going on in communities, you know, all across the country uh, based on, you know, art and art walks, galleries, things like that. And so when we signed on to the First Friday committee, uh, we really wanted to help um, bring all the different businesses that are in the downtown district into the fold in what was existing for First Friday before. Um, so we have a collaborative group that we've worked with to kind of form it over time. Um, the galleries, uh, we have music components, so there are musicians playing on the streets. A lot of times we do a theme for First Friday based around kind of what's going on in the community, different holidays for ways that people can get involved. 
Uh, and then we also worked with restaurants, retailers to try to bring everyone into the fold uh, and be a part of the First Friday program. And it's been really cool to see it grow over time from when we kind of first started engaging with it to getting the permit, like Corey was talking about, getting to watch it grow. And, and now uh, I'd like to think that First Fridays are a real staple for downtown. Um, and we're just really excited that we could be a part of that um, in our roles in Main Street as well as our roles as business owners. The Fredericksburg Otters, I know a lot of people have questions about what that is about, where that came from, is actually a Main Street program. It's called uh, Otterly Amazing. And the whole point of the Otterly Amazing program is just a mechanism to, uh, it's a mechanism to inspire tourism and movement throughout the city. Um, it was also made to coincide with the opening of Riverfront Park. Um, and that was a couple years ago. At the time, I was just a member of the board. Right now, I'm currently board president of Main Street, but that was being, uh, that was being run by um, the past board president, uh, Jennifer McGovern, and uh, April Peterson from River Rock Outfitters. So a big part of the Otterly Amazing program was to um, work with a local metalworks company called Wagner Metalworks. So it's two brothers. Um, amazing artists uh, within the Fredericksburg community and uh, we commissioned the creation of bronze otter statues that are placed all throughout downtown Fredericksburg. So there are a lot of different ways you can engage with the Otterly Amazing project. Like Corey was saying, it really coincided with the opening of Riverfront Park uh, and really try to connect Fredericksburg residents and tourism within the city to the river, to the health of the river. We do have river otters, like real ones here in Fredericksburg. So we really wanted to highlight that history um, and what that means to the community. A really cool thing about the otters is that it wouldn't have been possible without the numerous families that also dedicated um, the otters to you know special family members each otter has a name after a family member of the people that donated a good deal of money to help us get the otters made in the first place um, and I also would be remiss to not mention that another key person that was really responsible for the inception of this idea was our original executive director Ann Glave who really chased this thing down <clears throat> realized that we were about to lose the Wagner Metal Group and wanted to do something big for them since they're gonna be shutting down sometime in the near future. And she just wanted them to kind of go out with a bang. And if it wasn't for that idea, we would not be able to um, enjoy the sculptures the way that we do today. So in the spirit too of all of the, the folks that Corey's talked about that contributed to the project and really made Otterly Amazing what it is, uh, we, Main Street had a really great committee of people. Corey mentioned April Peterson, the owner of River Rock Outfitters. Um, and for really all Main Street projects, we really try to work with as many local businesses and talent as possible. Um, and so we also worked with Pete from Print Jazz uh, to do the design for the Otter projects. Um, so you can find those designs all throughout the city, the visitor center, um, a lot of different merchandise, our Small Business Saturday merchandise. We try to highlight and feature the artwork of the Otters. Um, so really, uh, just the Wagner Brothers, Pete, I mean, there's so many great artists that were involved in this project and it's, it's just a real, really cool thing to get to, to highlight them you know, throughout the process. You can see their work all throughout the city. Uh, there's a scavenger hunt for the otters too. There's a lot of different ways that uh, the community can engage with the project itself and it's ongoing, continues to grow. Uh, so definitely take a look all around town for the bronze otters. Well, thank you guys for coming through and checking out our humble little shop here in Fredericksburg. Um, you know, I've been a part of this community in a lot of different ways, and when we were approached by this business, I neither of us were really like thinking about being business owners. I think we were just fortunate that someone saw something in us and gave us an opportunity to be a bigger part of this growing community. Yeah, and I think, you know, we, you never know what it's going to lead to, and we've been so fortunate to work with so many different groups of people, our staff, the community, Main Street. I mean, we get to be involved in a lot of different things, um, and this business has really opened that door for us, so we welcome you to come in and share some time with us. 
uh, talk to the people around you when you're here in the shop. It's, you know, we like to think it's an open and welcoming space for everyone to come. Um, and we're really proud of that and really thankful that we could share all this with you guys today. So we hope to see you in.